Rapper and Beats by Dre founder Andre Young was rushed to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles last night after suffering a brain aneurysm. He seems to be doing better now, but at the same time he has been wrapped up in this nasty divorce with his ex-wife Nicole. I'm going to tell you all about the details on this story in a moment, but first, make sure you guys hit that like button because it really helps us out. And with that out of the way, let's just talk about Dr. Dre, shall we? According to TMZ, sources with direct knowledge told them that Dre suffered from a brain aneurysm on Monday and was rushed by ambulance directly to the intensive care unit. Right when it happened, news outlets were reporting that Dre was stable and lucid, but the doctors were still baffled by what was causing the bleeding. Now, this is really no laughing matter. Ruptured brain aneurysms are fatal in about 50% of cases. Of those who survive, about 66% suffer from permanent neurological deficit. Dre is also insanely lucky that he was able to get to a hospital in time, because approximately 15% of people with a ruptured aneurysm die before ever reaching the hospital. Most of the deaths are due to rapid and massive brain injury from the initial bleeding. Although it doesn't seem that he was involved in any major accident that resulted in a brain injury, so it will will still be some time before we find out exactly what happened. Immediately upon news breaking, the internet sent an outpouring of love to Dr. Dre and wishing him a speedy recovery. We certainly do not want to start off 2021 with a doctor getting sick. Later on last night, Dr. Dre did post a bit of an update to his Instagram page, but mostly took the opportunity to thank people. In the post he says, Thanks to my family, friends, and fans for their interest and well wishes. I'm doing great and getting excellent care from my medical team. I will be out of the hospital and back home soon. Shout out to all the great medical professionals at Cedars. One love. Now I'm not a doctor, but after looking over the details of his divorce, man, this guy must be stressed out just beyond belief. His estranged wife, Nicole, is demanding nearly $2 million a month for spousal support. However, Dre claims that he has already been footing the bill for her every need, and according to the legal documents, her lawyers have already made more money from this two-month divorce than most people in Los Angeles make all year. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Should have become a lawyer. The biggest problem for Dre is the prenup Nicole says that she was forced to sign back in 1996 when the two got married. In the legal documents, she says, I was extremely reluctant, resistant, and afraid to sign the agreement and felt backed into a corner. Given the extraordinary pressure and intimidation by Andre, I was left with no option but to hire a lawyer, of course with the help of Andre's team of professionals, and unwillingly sign the agreement very shortly before our marriage. However, she then goes on to say, Andre acknowledged to me that he felt ashamed he had pressured me into signing a premarital agreement and he tore up multiple copies of the agreement in front of me. Since today he tore up the agreements, we both understood that there was no premarital agreement and that it was null and void. However, Dr. Dre still maintains that he never expressed shame over the prenup and that he never tore it up nor agreed that it was invalid. Dre has already made it clear that he will pay spousal support and all of her expenses, but Nicole is clearly wanting a bigger piece because she believes she helped Dre get rich during their marriage. Whether or not that is true, it will all be left up to a judge to decide. Either way, I want to wish Dr. Dre a speedy recovery and all the best following this terrifying visit to the ICU. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Celebrities Banned in Other Countries. Jalen Dale says, Sometimes I forget Justin Bieber is Canadian. <laughs> By the way he acts, sometimes we forget too. Sophia G says, This video should be named Top 10 Celebrities Banned in China. Maybe. But there's still a lot of other countries in that one. There was a lot of people that are banned from China, but China doesn't like a lot of celebrities, so what are you gonna do? Danny Wolf says, Snoop only had 8 grams of weed. Surprised he got caught being so careful. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, well at least I thought that Snoop Dogg, just his carry-on case was just where he stored all of his weed, but apparently he only carries 8 grams on him when he goes to Norway. Who knew? Pretty Sarah says, damn the Chinese government are haters. <laughs> That's one way of saying it. Jay Marshall says, Johnny the sass today, you're on fire. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little sassy in these top 10 lists, but hey, it's always fun, so here we are. <laughs> and that has been today's video guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy YouTube.